Hey guys, doing a quick video on a snow shovel that I built uh, just for light snow, anything three inches and under. If you have a large driveway like I do, my driveway is about 175 feet long and it's got some width to it too. So uh, I spent a lot of time, even with my son, uh, if we're not using the snow blower because it's just light fluffy snow that fell uh, clearing this thing and it just takes so long. So came up with, I see some ideas on the internet, but I came up with my own. I did all this, uh, this, this, this um, snow shovel in less than 45 minutes. Everything I had sitting in the shed, just laying around for years, and I put it to use. Uh, just giving you a comparison of what the shovel I was using. You see they're sitting behind it, and the shovel that I built, again, less than 45 minutes. So take a closer look. Okay, guys, there it is. This is uh, over a six-foot snow shovel that I made in less than 45 minutes uh, just with some scraps I had sitting around in the shed okay so all you need is a piece of plywood I'm not even using half inch plywood here I just actually had this size piece sitting standing up in my shed and I just pulled it down and I cut uh, a little bit of length off of it it's about six foot two inches long Okay, that's what's making up the main part of the, the snow shovel. Uh, for my edge, to give it a nice clean contact with the driveway, I used a, a storm door that I never used, uh, the framing that goes around the storm door. And it comes with, already with the holes already in, in it for when you use it for your framing for your door. But uh, that's what I used to put my decking screws in. And I put some extra ones in all the way across to give it some strength. Now most of these are tied into the 2x4 that I put on the back. And if you look, the 2x4 runs most of the length of the snow shovel. Um, this is just a piece of pressure treated that I had laying in a shed. You could make it the full length of the snow shovel, but I didn't because I, that's all I had this laying around. I just wanted to use the try to make use of everything that I had in the shed. This piece here for mounting your broomstick on uh, was actually from an extra wide roller I uh, used for uh, doing driveways or painting uh, large areas and this is the uh, the bracket that comes with it. I uh, just disassembled it and it kind of worked perfect for this because it's angled on a 45 degree. You can probably get this at your local hardware store, um, Home Depot or Lowe's. And my broomstick just ties right into that. Uh, the broomstick, of course, did have a broom on it. I removed it and it has had a bracket which will work good for stabilizing. Uh, I still have to attach it. Uh, I'll probably either attach it to the 2x4 it looks like that's what we're all probably attach. I might have to uh, bend that bracket a little bit more on the ends uh, to modify it so it works. But that'll stabilize the broomstick so it won't. Uh, I was using it without the bracket and just threw the broomstick in here and it worked quite well. There was a little bit of wiggle, but I figured I might as well use a bracket if I have one and I did have one. So, so there you have it. Uh, uh, you'll see in the video at the end of the video. Uh, stay tuned because uh, you're going to see a time elapse when I do my driveway. My driveway is 175 feet long and I do it in record time. It's incredible. So if you're tired of shoveling with that short little snow shovel that you own, uh, put yourself together a snow shovel for cheap. I'm going to um, probably in the spring because it's just too cold now. It's like 10 below out there right now. Um, but in the springtime, I'm going to probably put some Man of War on here or some Thompson Wood or Seal, or I can paint it uh, just to weatherproof it uh, so it'll last me. But what's great about this is that it is completely, I can disassemble this whole unit. It's all held together with decking screws. So if I wanted to replace the 2x4, or if I were this broke, I could replace this. Um, I don't expect this to break. Uh, the plywood, if it warped on me for whatever reason, um, I can replace it or, you know and uh, this here I don't expect this to uh, go bad it go bad on me it's actually made out of aluminum and uh, so it should last 
All right.